So let's check out using PowerShell to return all the memberships that an object in Active Directory has. So if you're familiar with using PowerShell in Active Directory, you know that finding the groups that an object is a member of is as simple as looking at the member of property. So for a group, we use the get 80 group commandment and use the properties parameter to specify the member of property. And for a user, we use the get 80 user commandment. And for a computer, we use the get 80 computer commandment. That tells us what groups that object is a part of but not what groups that those groups that it's a part of are a part of. So one way we can look at the group memberships of the group memberships of that object is to use the for each loop like I've got here. But the problem is that might tell us one level deeper, but it doesn't go all the way down the rabbit hole. So that's where we can use recursion. I've written a recursive group memberships commandlet here. What this function does as we pass it a group, so you can see in the parameter block, I've specified a group, and then it grabs that group from Active Directory on line 64. And on line 68, if that group has a member of property, it's going to return all of those groups in the member of property and then call the function itself all over again. So it's going to call itself with that group. And so what it will do is it's going to return all of the group memberships that an object has and all of those memberships, 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 memberships and on down the rabbit hole. So I'm going to add this into my session and on line 76, here's how we use it. So I'm looking at my user again. So I'm using the get it user commandlet and passing the member of property down the pipeline to the for each object commandlet where it's calling the get eighty recursive group memberships with that object. And the course specifying pass through this so it spits out the first uh, the first group that it runs across. And so if we run this, we can see that this user is actually a member of five groups, not just the one that we saw before. The problem with line 76 is that it is really long. One liners in PowerShell are cool, but I like saying really short one liners. So we can write a function around that recursive function to make this even more simple. So we've got a commandlet here that I've written called get ad object group memberships. And for my parameters, I just have one distinguished name. And I'm doing that so that we can pass a user, a group or a computer to this commandlet and it will, it will still work. So it's not object type specific. And then you can see inside of my big in block, I've got that function that we wrote previously, the get ad recursive group memberships. But here in the process block, I have that line that we had before. So I'm putting that inside of the function to save us some typing. So I'm using the get ad object commandment because that's object type agnostic and passing it the distinguished name that I'm given. And then looking at that member of property and piping that to the get ad recursive group memberships commandment. And then I'm also throwing in a select object dash unique there on the end of it uh, so that it only outputs the unique groups. So we don't need to see a group name more than once. So I'm going to load this into our session. And one thing you will notice here for the distinguished name parameter, as I'm setting the value from pipeline by a property name equal to true, so that we can pass just straight user objects or straight computer objects, as long as they have a distinguished name property, this command that will accept it. And to see what I mean, here's what we got now. So I'm using the get ad group commandlet, specifying the name of the group and piping it to the get ad object group memberships. And so that's going to recursively tell me all the memberships that that group has. And then we can do the same with a user and a computer even, because all of these objects have that distinguished name property. And so you can see that uh, from before, there was only one or two for each of these. Now there's what, three, four, and five. So that's how you can use PowerShell to recursively find all of the group memberships that an object in Active Directory has.